Every week I come to you thinking I'll have some packaged neat story with a perfect beginning, middle, end, and some conflict. However, as I've mentioned numerous times, you never know what the heck is going to happen when you live in a van. This week started normally with coffee and chores, but I've been going with the theme of putting myself out there and doing what scares me. So I made another friend. So today we are actually going to see Rosa. So we saw her the other day. Oh, and by the way, Rosa lives in her car. She also has a YouTube channel. I have a feeling a lot of you know who she is. So we saw her the other day, and now today we're gonna go see her again. And she's just so awesome and kind, and I'm really excited to hang out with her. So that's what we're doing. I really have Julia to thank because she was the one who messaged Rosa since I was too nervous. Meeting new people is always nerve wracking as you test the waters with what you can say, how you should act, and discovering how your personalities mesh. But all my nerves completely dissolved when Rosa locked her keys in her car and we came together with a wooden spoon, flagpole, and tape to break into her car. Love it. Take 10, 11, 12. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that looks like more promising. <laughs> Gonna go give Fro you another thing. Hey, pistachio ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and some toppings I don't remember. <laughs> Too many. Mm -hmm. And a maple bar. <laughs> the next morning, Rosa left, and after getting frozen yogurt to beat the hot day, Julie and I found ourselves on a road surrounded by other vans, cars, and buses. I usually don't enjoy camping near others this way, but I like the camaraderie that comes with staying in a place like this. Okay. The next day, Rosa left and Julie and I headed to one of my favorite campsites. It welcomed us warmly with an incredible sunset, the kind that makes you feel really good about everything. Unfortunately, the warm feelings did not extend into the next day. As we were about to leave, Julia got stuck in the sand. After a while of digging, inching forward and backwards, and ruining mats, Julia got stuck and we were on our way. So we're currently on our way to see Rosa again. We've kind of seen her like every day the past couple days. She's house sitting, so we're just gonna pop on over there. And Julia is gonna dye Rosa's hair. Let's go. <laughs> After our visit with Rosa and the promise that she would be meeting up with us in just a couple days, Julie and I found a national forest spot. Sometimes you just need a good old reliable national forest road. Currently scouting for a spot with service. So we're just walking down some roads because there was a crossroads. Let's see if there's a spot down here. With the sun beaming down and Athena happily running around, it's hard not to feel eternally grateful for my life and the new friends I've made lately. I think this is the happiest I've felt on the road so far.
recording here. Honestly feeling pretty good as of late, just making new friends and meeting and like not traveling alone has been an experience. It's been a, a good one. Um, this just happened. Hi. Um, gross. So, obviously very gross. I should really be wearing gloves, but I don't have any. Okay, I should have put a towel down. This next clip is really gross and a jump scare. You've been warned. show that after the last couple days of chaos I was happy to be in a quiet forest to spend the rest of the week living slow and completing uninteresting tasks like cleaning out my sink drain and washing my hair there is a special beauty in the monotony